Now, anybody is telling you that and you believe in, believe in those kind of dreams, I think that's a nightmare. It is not possible for Arsenal to have Martinelli, Soliba and Saka in the same time for the next 10 years. I don't think it's financially possible. I don't think it's, uh, it's possible for the modern game. I don't think players uh, who are not born in England, players who have uh, who, who aspirations could change as they grow older. So it's not possible. Now, the only possibility here is Saka, because it's English, is an academic product. He has been with the club since he was nine. So I understand the emotional attachment to the club, the loyalty to the club. But like some Martinelli, I'm not saying Martinelli is not loyal. I'm not saying Silva is not loyal. But we know they are not English. Martinelli is Brazilian. Silva is French. And I think there comes a time they will want to try other, other, other leagues or other teams. It's just natural. This is not Francisco Totti or this is not uh, Puyo. Those era have passed. I would love those three players to stick with us for the next 10 years. I would love it. But let's just be real. Let's stop these hopeless romantic fantasies that are that these things only happen in telenovelas and all these romantic movies. It does not happen in real life. Sorry. And financially, I don't think it's sensible. Now, let's go hypothetically. Like, let's say I could according to rumors, right? That Saka is gonna end 20. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new and you like the content, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you stick a like on the video for the upgrade, which is very, very important. Um, make sure you turn on your notification so that when I go live or I post pre-recorded videos, you can actually get notified and watch them. It's very, very important. Please, as I grow this channel, make sure you stick a like on the content. Now, I'm going to be talking about uh, some of the ESEPs from... I uh, no more particular topic on the ESEPs from the pretty much press conference regarding Europa League. Uh... I just had a uh, pretty much press conference today uh, for the match against uh, Bordeaux Glimt. Yes, I did a review yesterday. Go back to the last video before I post this one. Go and watch the preview uh, to the match tomorrow for the Europa League. Arsenal versus Bordeaux Glimt. Make sure you stick a like on that video. And you can get all the preview information you want on that content. So I'm going to talk about uh, this uh, commentary from Ateta that he put out during the press conference. It was asked on, on the new deals for Saliba, Saka, and Martinelli. So let me read this response. Obviously, we have plans to... Sorry. Obviously, we have plans for the future, and we are working on it. Edu is on top of it and all of the board, and we will try to do things in the right way, be fair, and trying to plan the best way for the best way and reward the players that are, in our opinion, have a big future for the club. When we have something to announce, we will do it. Like I said during the video I made uh, regarding Soliba's preliminary talks, you can look at, you can see that video is on the archives, or you can go and stick a like on it and, and, and watch it and enjoy it. I made it very clear then, even before this commentary came out uh, earlier today, that Arsenal will not go by the mantra a lot of uh, the pundits, the Arsenal content creators. And some of the analysts have been on other bigger platforms have been talking about giving what he wants. No club can afford to go by that mantra. Yeah, it's easy for fans to go by that mantra, give it, try everything possible to secure a player to a new contract or a renewal, which is fair. But realistically, it's not done anywhere. Even in our day-to-day -day life, nobody, you don't, nobody gives you what you want. You earn what is fair and what your employer or the owner of the company can afford. You cannot mortgage the future of your company or the future of the club because you want to please a particular player or give them what they want. I love Saliba, I love Martinelli, and I love Saka. Now, it would be it would be ignorant to think that we have the we have Saka, Martinelli, and uh, Saliba for the next ten years. It that's not possible. Now, anybody is telling you that, and you believe in you believe in those kind of Dreams, I think that's a nightmare. It is not possible for Arsenal to have Martinelli, Soliba, and Saka in the same team for the next 10 years. I don't think it's financially possible. I don't think it's, uh, it's possible for the modern game. I don't think players uh, who are not born in England, players who have uh, who, who aspirations could change as they grow older. So it's not possible. Now, the only possibility here is Saka, because it's English, is an academic product. He has been with the club since he was nine. 
So I understand the emotional attachment to the club, the loyalty to the club. But like some Martinelli, I'm not saying Martinelli is not loyal. I'm not saying Silva is not loyal, but we know they are not English. Martinelli is Brazilian. Silva is French. And I think there comes a time they will want to try other, other, other leagues or other teams. It's just natural. This is not Francisco Totti or this is not uh, Puyo. Those era have passed. I would love those three players to stick with us for the next 10 years. I would love it. But let's just be real. Let's stop these hopeless romantic fantasies that are that this things only happen in telenovelas and all these romantic movies. It does not happen in real life. Sorry. And financially, I don't think he's sensible. Now, let's go hypothetically. Like, let's say, according to rumors, right, that Saka is going to earn £200,000 per week at 21 for his next contract. We're going to sign for the next five years. Now, let's not forget, in the next three years, he'll be due for a renewal. How much will he pay then? At least he wants an increase, at least to 50 to 100k increase. Now, let's not forget, if you sign Saliba to a new deal, he will want in excess of 100k if not possible, 200k that Saka is being given. And same for Martinelli. Financially, it's not just possible to pay these players that are 22, 21, that kind of money, which they'll get renewed in the next three years. And you have to pay them that. that I mean, you have to do, double it sometimes. So financially, it is not just possible to keep those three players. Now, let's be real. If we can get in, if we can tie them to five-year contract and in the next three years, we can win the league, win the Champions League, Europa League, or win a few cups. That'd be fantastic. Then we can sell them and make a profit and replace them with quality. That is how clubs should be run. Let's not forget, Jesus was bought from Man City. He's still 20, he's still young. Even though he spent, I think, four, four, uh, four to five years at Manchester City before coming to Arsenal. And he was moved on to Arsenal. He's still a quality player. He could have still stayed at Man City, but said to, to move to under, uh, to under pastures new. So that is how effective clubs, clubs that are winning, that's the new model. No player is so loyal to stay in a club for 10 years. See, disregard the payout narrative. I love the club. I love the badge, the kiss, the badge. I'm not saying they might, they might actually love the club, but aspirations and ambitions change. And you have to understand that. You have to understand that. And secondly, uh, uh, if you if you look at the statement, how Ateta phrased it, right? Let, let, let me read it again. Edu is on top of it and all of the board we will try to do things in the right way, being fair. Being fair meaning we will try to negotiate a deal that favors the player, the club, and everybody's happy. Now, if the player decides he wants more than the, what the club can afford, I'm sorry, the you might have to just move on to other, other clubs that can afford or pay that kind of wages or salary. Now, I know Asa can compete with, with any club in terms of paying premium salaries or wages, but at the same time, you do not want to set a bad precedent where young players are taking the mic or taking the piece out of the club. You can't do that. I love Saliba. I want him to sign a new, a new con, a long-term contract. I love Saka. He's looking close to signing a new long-term uh, long contract. Sorry, pardon me about my tongue twisting. And I love Martinelli. But at the same time, if they ask for something outrageous, I, I think the club should, 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 should shut it down. For example, if Soliba is asking for like 300k or Martinelli is asking for like 300k, I don't think they are worth that. I don't care if Chelsea is willing to pay that or Madrid. I don't think they are worth 300k. Now, even though Arsenal can afford to pay that, I think that will set a bad precedent to pay that kind of huge amount to 21 or 22 year old, regardless of the performance. Now, I'm not saying you cannot pay them a fair base uh, salary or wages. Then you can add a few in incentives and clauses that makes it bumper, makes it fantastic, depending on what they win and their contributions. That will be fair for the club and everybody. But if you want a baseline that is huge, regardless of the performances or if Arsenal is winning or not, I don't think the club should actually uh, subscribe to this kind of bullshit. I, like I said, I love Soliba, I love Martinelli, I love Saka, but at the same time, the club has to be smart and have to consider its future. You can't afford to spend or pay ridiculous wages. Even Man City don't pay ridiculous wages. Even Real Madrid, as prestigious as it is, they don't pay ridiculous wages. Because if you do that, 
you are going to put this the club into insolvency. I most clubs want to do that. We we saw all the troubles Baka went through uh with, with his outrageous wages and signings they were doing in the last few years, and we saw how it affected them. So I'm sure Asna and the board, Edu and Ateta. Now let's take Ateta out of it. Edu and the board who are smart enough to know what is fair and right for this place. And I'm sure they will do right by the players. I'm expecting, uh, I'm not too expecting that this uh, Silva will sign his deal before the World Cup. I'm thinking uh, after the World Cup or January, we'll, we should get it good news. On Saka, I think, I won't be surprised if he signs his new deal before he goes for the World Cup. And Martinelli, I won't be surprised if he signs his new deal before he goes for the World Cup. But for Silva, I'm very optimistic. I'm very hopeful he, he will stay, at least he will stay a few more years at Arsenal. I'm very, I'm very sure he will sign a deal and stay a few more years at Arsenal. And for Martinelli too, I'm sure he will stay a few more years at Arsenal. Now, Saka is for a product of, of the academy. He's an Arsenal fan, true and true. He's English. He might want to stay, spend his whole career at Arsenal, provided we are winning trophies and doing well. I think Saka will want to stay and spend his whole career at Arsenal. But the likes of uh, Saliba and Martinelli, I am not too confident. And I understand why they want to play for other clubs. Like he just showing amb ambition or trying. It doesn't mean even though if Arsenal is winning the biggest trophies or or doing fantastic, certain players just want to try something new, regardless of how good uh the apparent or the apparent club is doing at that time. It's just human nature, and we just have to respect it. This overly attachment to players, we need to we need to temper our expectation and calm it down. I'm not saying you don't love the players. Hmm. I love the players, but at the same time, I'm not overly attached to them because they can always change their mind and move. Let's not forget Robin Van Persie, Fabregas, Kleb, Rosiski. Players always come and go. It's just natural. Just revolving though. Players come and go, but Arsenal will always remain. I support Arsenal. I love Mikel Arteta, but if he decides to leave Arsenal today, I will wish him all the, all, all the best. I wish him all, uh, all the good luck he would need. But I'm still an Arsenal fan. Arsenal before any other manager. Arsenal before any other players. That's how I think. If you disagree, leave in the comment section and make me understand why you think Soliba or Mart and, and Martinelli should, be, should spend it, their next 10 years with Arsenal. I, I would love them to stay. Don't get me wrong. I would love Martinelli and Soliba to spend the rest of your playing career at Arsenal. But is it feasible? Is it plausible? Let me know. Give me a reason why you think Martinelli and Saliba will spend the next 10 years at Arsenal. I don't think it's possible. I don't think it's financially sensible. I don't think they will do it. It's just what it is. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel, share the video, stick a like on the video, turn your post, post notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one.